everyone! Tiffany here with another cosplay tutorial, and on this Tips Tips video, we're going to be going over how I made my victorious Janna breastplate from the game League of Legends. As always, the very first step before starting any cosplay is to get reference images, and here's the victorious Janna reference images I went off of for the breastplate. Now to create my pattern, I got my dress form and I wrapped it in saran wrap, followed by covering it with masking tape. And then afterwards, I drew on my patterns with Sharpie in black and in red. And if you don't want to make your own breastplate pattern, you can always use mine, which is available on my website at www.tiffanygordoncosplay.com. See the link below. For the main parts of the breastplate, I used 4mm EVA foam and traced my pattern onto it. And after that, I traced on my detail designs using a silver Sharpie. Next, I used an Excel blade and pierced halfway through the EVA foam around the silver Sharpie lines, and then used a heat gun to activate all the lines to open up, followed by cutting out all the breastplate pieces with an Excel blade. For the breast area, I used four millimeter EVA foam, cut out, and then heat treated, and then applied contact cement glue to both the sides and let fully dry. And once dry, I attached the pieces together. I next got out one of my mannequins and I covered the breast area in Vaseline. The reason for covering it in Vaseline is so that way the warbler won't stick to the mannequin. I then used a heat gun to heat up the warbler to form around the breast area. I've started using warbler underneath my breast areas for cosplays because most of the time when transporting your EVA foam pieces and suitcases, the boob area tends to get squished a little bit, and this helps to prevent that. Next, to attach the EVA foam to the warbler, I applied contact cement glue to both surfaces and let dry. And once both pieces were dry, I attached them together. I did the same process for the breast area as well. You can see here once both pieces are attached to the warbler. To add detail to the boob area, I then put my template on top and traced it again with a silver sharpie and repeated the same process where I pierced halfway through the EVA foam with an Excel blade, followed by using a heat gun to open up all of the areas. For adding detailed trim to the piece, I used eight millimeter EVA foam. I cut it with an Excel blade and sanded it with a sanding drum to a triangle shape. And then I heat treated the piece before attaching it with contact cement glue to the breastplate. Once all the EVA foam pieces were attached, I took off the whole piece from the mannequin, cut off the extra warbler, and then sanded the edges using a sanding drum. I then applied three heavy coats of Plasti Dip to the entire piece. This includes the inside. And once it was fully dry, I then masked off all the trim areas with masking tape. Because the Plasti Dip was black, I didn't need to do a base coat, and instead I just went straight to painting using Tester's Silver Airbrush Paint and a little bit of airbrush flow improver. And don't forget about doing the backside too. Once the paint was dry, I then removed the masking tape and then covered up all of the silver painted area with paper and masking tape again. Again, I didn't need a base coat for our next color of paint and went straight to using Tester's gold airbrush paint. And then when it was dry, I removed all of the masked off areas. To add a little bit more depth to the piece, I then went back in with black airbrush paint to add more shadows and depth. And for even more pop to the piece, I applied doing one little detail section at a time, a heavy amount of black airbrush paint. And while the paint was still wet, I wiped off all of the top color with a paper towel. This leaves all of the black color in the crevices and will make the piece pop. You can see here after it's done. And once all the airbrush paint was dry, I then went back to add a little bit more pop of gold and silver using uh, acrylic paint by hand. And when all of the paint was dry, I went and sealed the entire thing using satin clear enamel spray paint. The only step left to do was to attach the breastplate to the leather corset with contact cement glue, and then it was done. And that is how I made the breastplate for my victorious Janna cosplay from League of Legends. Thanks guys for watching this Tips Tips video, and I hope you enjoyed it, and if so, don't forget to subscribe. Much love!